<laughs> so, Smitty, tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I'm a underground artist uh, in the Houston area, born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Been out here for about uh, four years now. Uh, out here with my my family, my wife, uh, my my two little girls, and my son. Uh, but yeah, basically, I'm an up and coming artist on the scene. Uh, you know, doing shows and uh, just constantly coming out with music. But uh, my whole purpose with the music is to spread a message of love. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that, bro. <laughs> Appreciate and God that. is love. Exactly, kind of exactly. So, what are you saying? Like, when you say love, what do you mean? Like, uh, the idea of love in general. So, like, you know, I really believe that God is love. Like, okay. in the sense of, like, you know, what you picture God is, like, love is connected. So, it's like, whenever you're doing something out of love, you're doing something that God wants you to do. So you're not per se a Christian rapper, you just rap about love. Exactly. I feel you. Well, I Message think music. I think he's more yeah, of a yeah. conscious Message music. Conscious, so more conscious rapper cuz you talk it, about third eye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, stuff you like that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Awakening yeah. kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Definitely. I definitely uh you know with the way the internet is today, I've definitely uh you know seen a good amount of things and studied a, a good bit of stuff uh on the web as far as like spirituality goes, you know third eye, uh, chakras, you know, and, and then like uh, the generation right above me, uh, I don't know what you would call them, I'm a millennial, so the people that's like right before me, those are the people that kind of, I, I would say shit. <laughs> 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 well, they, they call yeah, man. Key we the originals. Key latch. Latch key. Latch key. Come on, latch what's wrong with you, man? I'm yeah, that's the drink they gave in them. That's the drink. The thing I like about y'all is just hearing from like previous conversations, y'all, like all y'all woke, like and that's the thing, like, you know, my parents, you know, my, my father, in a sense, he's, uh, like, what, 63. So, Ain't nobody like, in his 60, bro. Okay. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. Turn his mic down. Nah, I'm just saying the, way the, you, the way the generations go. You, you know, yeah. like, once you get to over a certain age, it's like, though, that group of people, like, they don't, they don't want to entertain those thoughts. They were raised different. They don't. Yeah, they, they don't. They, they don't. don't. Cloth. He's cut from yeah, a whole different cloth. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah. But why the name Smitty spreads love? So, in college, like I played basketball. Like I'm still, I'm still pretty good. But uh, I played basketball on scholarship. Where you playing? At Xavier University of Louisiana. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. I thought you was gonna say uh, Long Star College. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's where, that's where I met my wife at, at Xavier. Uh, the yeah. ratio. Thank you. The men to women ratio, or the women to men ratio, was a uh, fourteen to one. So when I got my scholarship, Hi. what what that address is? <laughs> how, did you, how did you make it out so righteously? Yeah, so that's the thing. My coach promised me two things when I signed that. He was like, "You're gonna graduate and you're gonna find your wife." And I can't say he was what wrong. You, what was your major? Business management. Yeah. So in a sense, I kind of used my degree, but I, I low key ended up like one of them people that got a degree and couldn't get a job. Mm -hmm. But you understand? That's, that's life. Yeah. How yeah. things were supposed to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Like. Uh, I know that school is a business and stuff like that now. Before, you know, you, you're thinking like, man, you got to go to school. But school is a big business. These days, like, if you get a degree, it really, it really don't matter. It shows right. like more so, it's more of a who you know thing. So now, like, with my age group, everybody got degrees. Like, you know how everybody at high mm -hmm. school diplomas, everybody got degrees now. So. Right. The numbers don't match when you're going into the workforce. Like, they ain't got jobs. No, they don't. Right, they don't. A lot of they people don't. that graduate, they haven't, right. they they haven't don't used work. them. Yeah, they yeah. Don't yeah. So you you doing, so when you say art, I, obviously you're making your own wear, your apparel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. draw, you paint. Uh, My wife do all of that. So no. you all work together? Just... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, we kind of work together towards the dream, in a sense. Like, you know, I, I got to salute her a lot for that because, you know, it's like, She's being that stay-at-home mom type, raise the kids while honestly, man, I'm I'm out driving Uber, like figuring out ways to to spread the message. So in the Uber, yeah, I was gonna ask you too about the Uber, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, I nah, met you in yeah, Uber yeah, and Uber. brought you oh, wow. on the show. It's, it's, so do you think that that has helped you like increase your following on YouTube and yeah, yeah, any kind of gigs definitely. you get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By being an Uber driver, being an Uber driver, you meet people from all different yeah. walks of life. Yeah. So you got like super rich people, you you know, you got middle class, uh, older people, like 
Everybody, everybody knew. You don't know who you're going to meet in the Uber. I done drove uh, one of the, the basketball players from the Rockets, uh, mm -hmm. Luke Balmute. And I got his number in the Uber. Like, I could, I could text him <laughs> and, and hit him up and go to a game. Right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Exactly. So, it's yeah. different stuff it's like that. Yeah, it's, not, it's not really crazy, man. If you got that kind of personality, yeah. people you can know. see that on you. Especially if you get somebody rich in the call you and you ain't just, oh, I love your shows. Oh, I love everything Common, you do. Common oh, I got I, 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 You know, but if you treat him, what yeah. I found out about rich people and famous people, because I've met, I've met a lot of them because my little, anyway, that's another story. But yeah. when you talk to them about stuff that right. they're not used to hearing, you get their attention they and they got you. Up, yeah, they got they're you. Up, yeah. Go ahead, man. I ain't even <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, so you you do a few things. Yeah, 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 definitely. So exactly. tell the truth. Say, so, say so you are well invested in 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 independent. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like I'm 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 not necessarily trying to sign to a label. So right now I've been learning. Like you, you got to learn so much as an independent artist because you got to know how to capitalize the money off stuff. So. I looked up like you know how much you get paid from streamers and different things like that. So like I think uh, Spotify is one of the lowest. They pay you four thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars per one million streams. But then again, that's a million streams. But if you could find a way to you know build your following up on your own and get them streams. Oh, you Twenty six now. Twenty six. Yeah. Yeah, but you know if you had a million, if you had a million streams on Spotify, you can actually have them. You can actually have them same people stream you on YouTube, and once you hit a million on YouTube, they put you on the payroll. But he yeah. has his YouTube channel. You see what yeah, I'm yeah, definitely, definitely. So if you ever get to, if you ever get more hits on your Spotify, you have them same people follow you on YouTube. Yeah. Right. And the second you hit a million, YouTube puts you on the payroll. Yeah, on the payroll. yeah. definitely. They, they run they more advertising. But you gotta have yeah, a million. Yeah, exactly. Once you hit a million on YouTube, they put you on the payroll. Yeah. Because once you got a million, you you, you got so a million. So you, what do you, you got mi you mixtapes or? Well, so right now I got a mixtape uh, on SoundCloud, oh. but uh, I don't like like when people call <laughs> like they like to put you in a category like oh man y'all SoundCloud rappers. But I mean that's just part of the way I started. I'm gonna be honest with you, fam. <laughs> don't ever. And I'm gonna, I, I can so I come from the era <laughs> that does not they they're not jealous. It's very few. Like those Joe Budden type of guys, they come <laughs> off as angry at the new generation. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's, and, and don't get me wrong, I think the circumstances were a lot harder when I was coming up. Yeah. Versus yeah. the internet is at the hand. But don't ever let nobody mm. make you, oh, you a sound clown, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And guess what? I'm doing fairly okay. You know, but, oh, but yeah, but you are yeah. taking advantage of what's in your, of this, this generation is taking right. advantage of what's given to them. Yeah. And I hate that because I'm, I'm getting old and I don't want to be known as the hater, the old, the <laughs> nigga that used you to be. You're an old hater. Look at me. His, his <laughs> nickname ever, is used to be. Yeah, you're an old hater. Don't ever, don't ever let nobody, <laughs> don't ever let nobody Use take your shot. Like, <laughs> they can call you a SoundCloud <laughs> rapper. They can call My you a Spotify <laughs> rapper. They can call you what they want to call you. They probably call Chance the Rapper all of that. Yeah. And now he's well paid, Number right? Well vested, and he was to yeah. 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 When we were doing, when we were doing, uh, when Rush and I were doing Rush to Vote, yeah, we had TSU on lock on Wednesdays. We was up there every Wednesday with the radio station. Yeah, we see this little skinny dude come. Through. College radio is a true. We see this little mm -hmm. skinny dude come walking through, and he got cameras with him, got a little entourage with him. He walk up, come to find out it's your boy, uh, Kill Bill. Yeah. The, song. the Kill Will, the Kill Bill song. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. he come walking up. And you know me, I'm you a man, dude. I don't care how much money you got. You put your pants on like me. So I walked up to him and started telling him about Rush the Vote. Come to find out, bro, we we standing there taking pictures with this dude. <laughs> and he got the Rush the Vote on. And then if you catch him on one of his videos, he got it on his wrist. <laughs> Just because of the delivery. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Because you don't walk up. And start yeah, kissing yeah. ass. Exactly. You talk to them like they people, bro. Yeah, they hear yeah. that every day. They every really, day. they really want. That. They Don't want you to yes talk man. to them like they regular. I've man. learned what you're yeah. talking about. You know, I mean, I've cut a lot of athletes, and I'm a barber, so I cut a lot of athletes, and you'd be surprised at they thirst for a real conversation. You know, like, so what you do in your spare time? Simple conversation like that. Like, I did not know that Kevin Durant make beats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he do. Uh, he cool and, with. Uh, your boy, uh, yeah, from from Harlem, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But I had found this out a while ago. <laughs> so when when Davies yeah, said yeah. that, I was like, 
that nigga sure do. <laughs> but you'd be surprised because I've had conversations like when I used to, I used to work in the pub and just simple like dudes they just man what's your man what you want to eat man we finna. You know, you have some, they want to talk real stuff, man. Yeah. I mean, the, I go see my man Rush at the barbershop shop yeah. off of Guff Bank at 45. Yeah. Just sit up Willow Run. Right the yeah. We walk in now, big S5 parked outside. I don't know who it is, it's a Benz. Yeah. Walk inside, it's a basketball, what's the boy's name? Uh, oh my Play for he Orlando. Orlando now. He played for the Magic. Sitting in the chair getting his hair cut. Oh, I, uh, walk in. Jay I walk in. Yeah, that's my okay. I walk yeah. in. He's sitting in the chair. I'm talking to Rush. And I'm, I'm talking about going somewhere. He said, Where y'all going? So I instantly start talking to him, just regular talking to him. Yeah. I say, dude, I said, you know what? You being an athlete, dude, I gotta make sure that me and you got the same taste in women. So I show him a couple of pictures. Yeah. You know, of my girl. Yeah. He go, Yeah, she nice. I say, we got the same taste in women. <laughs> we can hang out. But for he a millionaire. Yeah. But he kind of liked that. Yeah, man, I'm going to come. But he ended up getting caught up. But the fact still remains, take my numbers, what he said. Yeah. Tell you something about rich people. Rich yeah. people don't care nothing about the money. They'll spend their money like it ain't nothing. They just want genuine people Brilliant. around them talking yeah. about regular stuff. Yeah. So, Smitty, you got any future gigs coming up? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, on the 27th at... Uh, at Houston Underground. Y'all heard of it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah address? Underground. Address? Yeah, address. Uh, you talking about the address? Oh, you talking about... No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to say, the address yeah. you're doing yeah. Houston Underground? Dude, dude. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm the like, boy said, on, the address? Said, the boy said that, the, the Houston Underground, not the club that costs you 70 to get in. I know, that's crazy. Like that. They do. They do. You know what's real funny about I will make a lot of money off of that club because... You take people home. It be surging. It be it be, it be surging on Uber, sure. right? He be parked. No, straight up. He be parked right there. Why are you yeah. tripping? I'm not gonna lie to you. I've even thought about driving for a while. <laughs> really? Money, man. Can he money. do Uber? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not proud. You know, like I'm, I'm, right. I'm not. You know, a lot of people. Get your well, you gotta have an attitude. Man, I ain't driving no Uber. Right. What's wrong with that? Now, you look like you got enough personality yeah, for that. Me, sometimes I got. He careful. is. As soon as I got in the uh, the yeah, car, he was like, sometimes. "Where you going?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. how he got to get on the show because he was my Uber driver. But you know, yeah. you, know these, you know these boys. They don't. You know the boys from Louisiana. They don't care about nothing. They gonna talk yeah. to you. Hey, look here, mom. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like that, shorty. Yeah. Baby. But he didn't even talk like that. Like, because yeah, I was waiting for him to say, I had to. Yeah. No, I I no, because we talked about. I yeah, it, but I only a little bit. Saying, but you were saying that, that you have he has lived in different places, oh, yeah, so yeah, he yeah. sounds he different. Bro. I lived well, in uh, in Atlanta after Katrina. Uh, I lived in Philly for a year. Oh. Uh, like, after yeah, but that Louisiana's oh. still in you. I can hear it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just waiting on you to say chill. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm going by. Yeah, you can hear different parts of it. And that's why I asked him in the car, like, where you from? I love how y'all say that, man. Like, we'll say what I'm from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love how y'all say that, man. Like, we'll say, I was over at my mama house. I was over at my mama house. They say I was over by my mama house. I was by my mama house. Yeah, I'm going over my house. I was over at my mama house. They say I was over by my mama house. I was by my mama house. Yeah, I'm going to make groceries and all that. Make groceries. Make groceries. Yeah, you got to make groceries. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different, man. I yeah. said that like New Orleans is kind of like a, a third world country type stuff. It is. I know it's part of the United States, but stuff's so different. Like, I, I New know. Orleans to me is probably has the most authentic culture in America. Yeah. Like yeah. when you look at like from the art, the music, the food, the different cultures. Yeah. Like it's when I'm down there, I'm like it's Mexicans down there, <laughs> black folks, it's Haitian, it's yeah, French, it's right. Great. And you look at it's that. It's a melting pot, for and, real. And, and, and to me, so rough. I like, that's why I kind of yeah, like Miami yeah. sometimes, is because Miami has that, that culture. Ooh. When I say culture, just oh, everything. Yeah. What they got, and a Asians lot of the time, we'll, too, huh? yeah, yeah. yeah. Dominicans, <laughs> all that. Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans, it's very Puerto diverse. But to me, you got the a lot of the races. times, if we're not like on top of each other, We'll, we'll never be we, we won't take it upon ourselves to learn other, each other's cultures yeah, of course yeah, yeah. and I think that that's very important and I like what he just said I think it's very important and that's why I like because I'm, I'm a music fan yeah and obviously by my way you can tell I like to eat <laughs> when I go no to, really yeah right, right? <laughs> <laughs> and when I go there I'm going to tell you what's beautiful to me is what the news doesn't show 
so when you go down and you're in the thick of the uh, tourist attract, the tourist community, I mean, Bourbon Street, mm -hmm. the white folk coming out there, painting and dressing, they, hey, how's it going? <laughs> right. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And everybody is, but then when you look on the news, all they're showing is us killing each other. Yeah, absolutely. And you'll ne so you'll never know absolutely. what kind of, it's a reason when Katrina happened, they saved that area. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I really, man, I'm big up in New Orleans, man. I love it. It's just, man. Can I so just, like, curtail off of what you said, brother, just right quick? I'm going to tell you something about culture. When you said about culture, how we don't understand or try to get to know the different cultures. Like, I have friends now who tell me all the time when I go to the barbershop. Because that's where most of the stuff is. You know, as a yeah, everything happens at the barbershop. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a whole other thing. world when a man goes to the barbershop. Yeah, they yeah, say yeah. things like, this is the biggest argument that I've had with them. Man, when you trip, man, Mexicans, they don't like black people. I say, hold it. You I say, hold it. Right I say, hold it. Maybe not I say, man. the reason yeah. why they probably don't man. like you is let me tell you something. When you don't, look, you, when you don't understand a culture, off. you don't know how to approach that culture. Energy. And you think it's funny when you see black people standing with Mexican people and they try to speak Spanish. Yeah. Like, hasta mañana, boy, you go, I got it. They're going to laugh. But you're actually offending them because they had to come here to learn English yeah. and you playing with their language. Yeah. But when they know you serious about their language or when they see you and they notice that you're not the typical black person that they run into, yeah. Mexicans love you, dude. I got Mexican people right now yeah, from right. old Mexico yeah. me, who have invited me to their homes. Listen to me, dude. You don't meet a Mexican. I'm going to tell you one culture. You don't meet a Mexican and then ask him to come to his house for a party when they're having a party. You wait until you're invited, because the second you hit that property, everybody know who you are. You didn't know that, did you? But that's how it is. If yeah. you could work with any artist, who would that be? Any artist. J. Cole. J. Cole. Why? Man, come on. J. Cole. Man, cut yeah. mic. Come. <laughs> Why J. Cole? I'd have rather you said mystical or something like <laughs> that. Nah, Can't stand nah, that dude. You don't like J. Cole? No. Why? I J. don't. Cole, he, he's the <sighs> most. Still with J. Cole. Let me go on record by saying I hate him. Him and, him and Kendrick oh, Lamar. Yeah. Oh, Kendrick. Yeah. Kendrick. Kendrick you you redeemed yourself with the Kendrick again, for him. Oh, yeah. Understand. So let me ask you a question. So you said Kendrick Lamar. Yes. You uh, you you. Yeah. Are, hey, uh, and you then J. Cole. He like. So J. Cole. I don't like him. So what's the problem with J. Cole? I just they don't like they him. really like brothers. I don't like. They. It, <laughs> they really they the same 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 don't thing. like no, okay. Can I have a person that no, no, I don't no. like, bro? I was gonna ask you. No, I was gonna ask you though. What I don't like Jay Z that? neither. What is it? Uh, I understand. I hate the Jimmy man too. I mean, I like Jay, but I can understand why you don't. I hate but that, man but, too. but that statement makes me really question why you don't like J Cole. I don't like J Cole because he was signed to Jay Z. That's why. Yeah. Come on now. And I don't like the way he rap. And he oh, said that Nas is his like the favorite way he rapper. Rap. How disrespectful is no, that? No, Nas is my favorite rapper. You on the air. You on Jay-Z name. We're talking about Nas is my, my favorite, favorite rapper. My favorite what? rapper. Yeah. My favorite hey, rapper. Hey, listen. You dropped off. My favorite rapper. Okay, uh, Smitty. Drake, though. Too, give too your, uh, Smitty. Give it up to Drake, Give your contact. Give your contact information for the people. I'll be honest, man. I don't like everyone. Phone number, uh... Nah, man. So I'm on uh, Twitter, Smitty Spread Love L U V. Uh, Instagram, Smitty Spread Love L O V E. Uh, and the rest of everything is L O V E. Two or more. YouTube, love, love. Smitty Spread Love. I'm actually on Title, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, uh, whatever streaming platform you use for the music. Uh, but uh, definitely, uh, Smitty Spread it. Love. Uh, if you can't find me, just put a space in between. I'm, I'm getting pretty popular now, so it's, it's, it's starting to show. You heard that? Yeah. Uh, you, you heard it here. He's pretty popular. Yeah, yeah. Introduce, yeah. introduce, introduce us. You heard, you heard it here. He's pretty popular. Uh, uh, introduce us. Uh, the, the song right here is uh, one of the, the fan favorites of my mixtape. It's called Crowns. It's uh, it's, it's pretty pretty popular. You go again with that pretty popular. <laughs> Get the big head, brother. Remember us. Remember <laughs> one on one tabs. We gave you free drinks. Real talk, man. And, and right. he brought his own. <laughs> what about the Palmas? You brought that? He yeah. Brought that. Yeah, he showed, he showed he us love. <laughs> he showed us love. He like brought this in. Yeah, he spread love for real. <laughs> okay. Plant a couple seeds and watch them grow. You're a queen.
we need to we need this, yeah, man. Like he not trying to sound like you, the mom was shouting. We knew it was Take a couple percent shouts. Accomplish everything you think you can. Kings never died and rule another land. Under the influence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go right to Carol's and bump it in the wheel. Where you cry, where you cry, where you cry. Yeah. Ooh, I like how you it out. I'm going to beat it up. Yeah. Yeah.